Okay, next up, out of the blue corner, Robbie Bloom. Robbie Bloom, rep, Robbie Bloom representing Tap House Jiu Jitsu. He is a brown belt. Instagram has him at a 27% chance to win, and he is 24 years old. This is his arena debut. And Robbie's opponent out of the red corner, CJ Berkheimer. CJ Berkheimer, 3 and 2 in the arena cage. He is a Paramount Jiu Jitsu purple belt, and Instagram has him at a 73% chance to win. Ooh, I'm excited. I don't really know much about Robbie, uh, but I feel like I just saw him compete recently, and I can't remember where it was. Um, and obviously, I'm no stranger to CJ, one of my training partners. Um, Robbie feeling a little cold? Ooh. Stepping in? You know, it's hard not to be biased sometimes, and CJ's one of those guys. Love CJ. I excited to see what Bobby can bring I think it's going to be a fun matchup. CJ looking for that, that pass instantly. He's already over the knee. Really good angle. He has a cross face. It's not completely in there. CJ's top heavy, so Robbie's really going to have to work at not settling on the bottom in this yeah, one. Absolutely. CJ has a great guard, but he has been working a lot more passing. He's been, he's been feeling Head very quarters, good. Headquarters, little hip switch. hip switch attempt. And you also have to wonder how much, how much experience did he gain from a main event with Andrew Kopp? <laughs> that is that was an amazing true. performance, too. That was great. That was a clean pass by CJ. Yeah, straight from the leg drag. I think now we've learned more about each other. You like the leg box? I love the clean, just clean, clean passes. Hard passes. They're yeah. so beautiful. Speaking of clean, how about the schismatic industry? Oh, my God. Rash the rash schismatic rash. industry rash guards Ooh. are so nice. I'm sad that they only gave them to the main, the main event. I could have worn a rash guard. Like, next time. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. We gotta do the Danaher thing next time. Fanny back and after. <laughs> also, that was a sick segue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> CJ in on a on a potential neck here. Pretty yeah. quick in at 118. CJ's corner AJ calling for a Darcy guillotine connection. CJ looking for that connection. Really heavy top pressure from CJ. He just he hasn't given Bobby or Robbie, Robbie. I'm sorry, yeah. an inch of space. Just had a Bobby on, so you know. I know. So yeah, we had a Bobby uh, and we had a Robbie. Is, it's a lot. But like we said earlier, um, your opponent can hear your coach's corner. So we saw yep. Robbie instantly flatten out the second he heard that dar skull. Right, right. That's why they have to know the diesel squeezel because then you can take your arm away. Exactly. And he'll go north south, will CJ. Okay. Corner calling for the Josh armbar. I'd love to know what that is. I wonder if it's like a flash armbar because his arm is quite isolated. That's your husband. You got to get that inside you info know, for I, us. I do need that info. <laughs> I, w I would like to know it. CJ halfway into this match has really controlled the top the entire time so far. He's just floating. I, I will say this. I have seen some of uh, Robbie's matches, and he does like tend to get past the position control for periods of time and okay. then pull the stuff out, off. But I think the last time I saw him compete was a EBI rules. So there's no overtime here to really. I wonder if save that's where him. I saw because he recently just competed. I really can't remember where it was. I think but he's going to need to have some urgency to get out of this bottom position. Absolutely. I mean, there's more than enough time for CJ to finish in this round one, and, and Bobby is in a naughty good Is he looking at Mother's Milk? It seems like a theme uh, from AJ in the corner Tell this, this uh, If somebody tonight. Mother's Milk, it's probably because AJ will give them money for it. So <laughs> I bet you they're all trying. Hey, I'm a big fan of creating grappling incentives. <laughs> it definitely yeah. helps. It definitely yeah. helps. Part of me feels like that could be what he's doing. He's not looking for arm isolation. Yeah. Robbie needs to start kipping escape a little bit. Look at his hands to the hips, elevate right, a little right. bit. Right, right. His hands aren't in the best spot. It's more like a self-defense scenario where you like pull yourself up. But CJ's got a great base. I, I don't think that that's gonna that's gonna do it for him. And really, at this at this point, you could look to sit off to an arm if those arms are that exposed. And they're kind of like hugging behind CJ, which you know a lot of times, especially a lot of times, we do not train from the mount to grab from the back. So I wonder what he's trying to do there. Right. Yep. I completely agree. Maybe a, a loose guillotine. He's going to do a side now. He's actually trying to shrimp an elbow escape a little bit. You know, I would say if you're having a hard time in mount, it's always not a bad idea either to dismount to side control. But, I mean, he's got he's got the leg back in. Maybe a bolo consideration from CJ. Nope. I'd love to see Keep it. the bolo options yeah. free. We hear oh, there. Oh, twister back roll coming, I hope. Oh, that would be exciting. That would be really exciting. 
CJ, although dominant, uh, still unable to finish. Um, and we are less than a minute left of round one already. Control time means nothing here, folks. Good mm -hmm. job of floating around, though. Absolutely. And you have to, it, it has to wear on Robbie's body. You know, he's in so much danger. Who exerted more energy this round, CJ or Robbie? That's true, because CJ was moving a lot. But I don't think he looks quite tired. You know, he's putting all that pressure down. They both look pretty fresh. I, I agree. I agree. Um, in general, if CJ, like the person on top, you got to favor them on, on like the health bar. Right, right. I agree. Robbie doing a good job of looking back at his corner and listening, though. So um, that's good. Still, still very evil. He's just oh. trying to shove in for a guillotine Selling there. out for a guillotine in the last five seconds for Robbie here. But I think we're going in round two with no yep. sub. Yep, there it is. Good round. Very nice round. Now good sportsmanship. CJ helping Robbie up, and they're going to go right back at it. Train a whole bunch with CJ. What's the corner advice for him coming into round two? To be more submission heavy. I mean, he is very positionally dominant. I know he's he's been on arena a lot, hunting a lot of submissions. Um, but I think he sometimes he needs to be told almost like be more aggressive, be more submission heavy. Don't be afraid to sacrifice a little bit of the position for the submission. Uh, that's what I would be telling him. He's a great listener. Um, he's super coachable. So I would say you know stay the course. He's doing great. If I'm Robbie's corner, I'm wondering what are what are they telling him? Like what are we going to switch up so that you're not Robbie needs to show something. He yeah. needs to give CJ something to think about. Agreed. Ready. We still haven't seen much Ready. offense from him. So. Right, right. Yeah, we haven't been able to see much of his game. So I'd like to see a little bit more of it. CJ will go right to the pool. So he's switching it up um, from previously. Low, uh, low Z guard or uh, low knee shield half guard. CJ does um, like Choi bars, and he likes octopus guard, and he likes those setups. So he, he could have looks at all of those here. Looks like he has a little bit of control of the arm of Robbie, but Robbie able to free it. Robbie seems like he is honed in, very focused. Great composure from from both of these guys, especially Robbie. You know, in the defensive position, like way to relax. He's back on a straight footlock, but CJ has a great base um, in that position, so I don't think his like. Yeah, the sole of his foot was flat to the mat there. Yep. Oh, though you could hear CJ those hits thundering. Oh. Quite the pass from CJ. He'll take a low knee on belly, keeping his other knee on the mat. Right to mount. Oh, my goodness. Right back where we were. We're early, too. We're one minute. Fastest sub could always be up for the night if he can think of it quickly. I think it's, what, 113 well, I think it was, sub. something like that. Oh, he's just just past that point now. Oh. George Travinsky and that beautiful mustache. <laughs> that mustache. That's what does it for him. Does the mustache, like, take 10 seconds off the time? Yeah. In immediate 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> CJ oh, is working CJ. Oh. the neck. I don't even know what to call it. I was gonna say, what do we call yeah. this? Yeah. Well, now it's like kind of like a reverse anaconda for a second there. Robbie ends up but on it top. it ends up putting him in a bad position, which is was very interesting. We have seen a lot of CJ though in arena, and I'm the, the, he has good defense. For, so going for broke on a submission for? is completely okay. If I you, appreciate if you, it. I mean, yeah. we saw him against Andrew Cockle, and he looked like he was gonna die multiple times and didn't. So I think Robbie's yep, talking you know. a little smack to AJ over there. Is he? I, oh. I think so. Yeah. I wish we could hear it. I would. I would love that. I like smack talk and smothers. Yeah. <laughs> one more <laughs> I, I actually. I hope his responses are all Zach responses. Like I'm exhausted, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, anymore. do we have a buggy on the oh. bottom? Oh, oh, get escape! Get escape! Okay. Now we're seeing Using some it offense. for his own offense. Well, I'll be here. Another north south attempt. I'd like to see a buggy. They're so popular now. Oh, no, I can't be caught on tape saying that. <laughs> I think Arena 6, we had a buggy. We did. I think oh, we did yeah. have a buggy. No, but oh, I, no, I appreciate wait. that. I do, yeah. I do agree. I think anyone who teaches classes is just like, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this in public. We actually refuse to teach them, so I, that does make sense. CJ finds himself back in a guard. Very nice. And we're halfway through the match. That flew. Yeah. Was wow. it Jonathan with the buggy? Or? You know, I, I really can't remember who finished the buggy. I, I, do remember, I do remember that submission now. Both guys seated. Looks like Robbie's looking to come up. Uh, so now I'm thinking halfway through the match that CJ looked better on top. I agree. I and think. And that this, this round is going to be so far. So Robbie needs to be on top. I the think change of game plan for Robbie is so far working. We still have enough time for uh, for CJ to mount a count. He does have a really good high over, uh, left arm overhook where he could he could get a triangle here, which he uh, does love. So that could be an option. Oh, there it is. Oh. 
Oh, from your words to CJ's actions. <laughs> he's got a minute and a half. He's got to go for broke. And a little bit of an angle to the right side. Ooh, that, that, that's going to be trouble. Right to tap. Oh, wow. Nice. That's on. CJ Burkheimer with the round Didn't even let me finish my sentence. <laughs> Impressive. All right, well, we're heading to round three, um, and we have pressure again. Lots of pressure. Uh, yeah. Here. Um, but I think Robbie's game, he's up for it. Robbie's looked pretty good. He was in control of most yeah. of that round. That was a great round. And way to come back from CJ. I mean, the, the ability to, to come back from such a bad position on both sides is something to be said about high-level grapplers. And that's why they're uh, purple and brown belts. Yeah. Yes, me. Yep. You don't get there by not Agreed. getting in really bad spots, that's for sure. You gotta be confident in yourself. Yeah. I think CJ Absolutely. definitely went for broke. He made for a little bit, and then yep. he still pulled it out. Able so. to I, I appreciate the confidence and the entertainment aspect as well. Ready. All right, both ride, right, ready to go. Ready. Round three. Fight. Coming out. Coming in hot. Looks like CJ's yep. not gonna sit this time. He's power ties. Pressure's on Robbie. I'd like to see some foot sweep. Oh. You know oh. what? I am gonna stop talking. <laughs> Hey, do you know something? We got the controller. You got the controller over here. Some good head pressure from CJ here, but we have a good butterfly from Robbie. Oh, we put the hip switch again, but good guard retention on Robbie's side. Get into a point where you have to worry about it and come back the other way. Right, Jake? And this is what we were saying, right? I mean, I wonder if in round two, CJ felt like he wasn't doing as well on the bottom because now he's changing yeah. up the game plan. Both guys uh, looking better on the top. Yeah. To be, to be fair, when he started on the bottom in the last round, he did end up in mount pretty quickly. That's true. That is true. So I, I would say if CJ has his guard back, he's capable of doing quite a bit of damage. That's a, I, I definitely agree. That's a good yeah. point. Good sit off for CJ. Let's see if he Robbie goes back to the good stop. Darce that they were calling in the first round. Yeah, I feel like we've gotten a, we're getting a lot of Darce calls. I think it's because a lot of people are extending their arms. People Maybe. shoot for the underhook and they don't go all the way. I think that creates uh, the a good opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. I think uh, in arena and in general, as grapplers are just like evolu like evolution is happening so fast with grapplers, there's leg pummels that are beautiful more and more. Like it's crazy. Straight the like mount I, for CJ. He might have his oh, leg No, no, he's, no, sorry. He's, yeah. He switched sides to the other side of half guard. Personally, I'd like to see him just sell out on a bolo. I mean, you have one submission. The pressure isn't on you. But he's on a guillotine. Mounted. That's gonna get Arm tight. In. It oh, looks tight. That might be it. Arch. That's it. That was amazing. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. I really like C CJ, CJ Burkheimer. Hips. Round oh, three. That, yeah, very nice use of his hips. Pull the legs down. Really dragged him onto the guillotine. It was beautiful. That was beautiful. You know what we haven't seen yet? We ha have we seen a submission from each grappler um, in the rounds? No, we've only seen. It's all like two zeros. Yeah, right? we, yeah. We haven't seen a one and one. Submission. Your winner, CJ Burkheimer. CJ Burkheimer after the big dub. I have to ask you, man, your last time out, main event against Andrew Cockle, who's here today. How good does it feel to get uh, back in the win call? Man, it feels great, and it feels even better knowing I'm tied for the most submissions in the arena right now, so let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, how, how soon do you want to get back on here, especially considering there's rumors of a live card and some belts coming our way? Man, if I'm not on the next one, let me commentate. That's all I'm going to say. It's been hard for me to get matches. I called out three or four people for this one. Couldn't get any of them, thankfully. I got my guy today, so thank you for him for taking this match, but it's been hard to get matches. So he's calling out grapplers, and now he's coming for my job. Ladies and gentlemen, CJ Burkheimer. Congrats, bro.